welcome back to Studio 33 Art by K. Sorry I've been away for um, a week or so. Been busy doing resonine and making things for Christmas. So um, I thought I'd do a quick one today. Hopefully it's a quick one for you because I know we're all busy at this time of year. What I've got here today is a Lazy Susan and I bought it from the local Kmart. I think it was about $18. It's made out of acacia wood so it's quite nice um, I like the um, different colors that are in it and I'm making this as a present for someone so I've seen a lot of people do uh, resin on boards and they color the resin but I recently saw someone else and I forgive me for I can't remember who it was um, who just put paint on and then resined over it which I thought is far more my style I like to do that so I've recently bought these um, ready-to-pour acrylic paints from Pouring Masters out of the US. So uh, I bought a, a kit that had these little bottles. I think there was 36 bottles, plus there was a bigger bottle of the silver and gold um, and a pouring medium in there. Uh, but it is ready to pour, so you don't have to mix it with the pouring medium. And so that's what I did the other day, and I, and I had really good results. Um, so I did a little sample and I thought, mm, I really like the way it was creating cells without um, anything extra added to it. And I thought, I wonder if it, the um, resin is going to stick to it. But I, I put some resin over this little um, sample piece that I did and the resin stuck to it really, really well. So um, anyway, full steam ahead on that one. So if you're ever wondering how your colours will go or anything, just um, I've got some silicon mats that I use that are just actually dog feeding mats. Um, and I just do little samples on that just to see how the colours will react together and so on. And that way you're not wasting your paint by doing a big bit and then realising, oh no, it didn't work. So um, yeah, that's my little tip there to do that. So today I'm going to do a mix of the Araldo paints, um, some global. I'm going to also use the Vallejo pearl medium mixed with the Amsterdam um, titanium white and the Pouring Masters colors together. So I haven't mixed them all together before. So we'll see what happens today. What I've done here, I have discovered that you can pour straight onto timber but because it's got a lot of um, moisture in it, um, because it's a natural wood, sometimes the um, paint really absorbs into it. So you lose a lot of your um, paint into the timber. So I've decided I just did a, a coat of um, gesso on there. You could just do a coat of um, paint as well, the acrylic paint, anything really that just gives it that extra barrier between the timber and the paint. You don't have to, but I've just found that it's better if you do. The other thing is I couldn't tape off the back because of the oils in the timber. Um, I even used the isopropyl alcohol, it still didn't help. So I saw someone using um, a bit of Vaseline along the edge where you don't want the paint or the uh, resin to stick when I do go to resin it. So I have done that. I haven't tried that before, so we'll see how that goes. Sounds like it will work. So um, lots of bit of experimenting. So now I'm going to lay down my colors. I think I'll alternate the Pouring Masters colors in between my other ones, um, just to get a bit of a, a variance going on there. And um, so I'm going to put these into a pouring cup and basically I'm going to do a flip cup and then tilt it. So, the first colour I'm going to use is the Araldo Metallic Rainforest. So I'll just put some in there, down the side. I don't want the colours to mix too much at this point. So I'm just going to let them run. Uh, the um, Araldo and the Global Paints, I have mixed those with Australian Flow Troll. And I will list all these colours as I always do. Um, down into the description box below. And now I'm going to add the Pouring Masters Ready to Pour Luster White Metallic Pearl, just to um, give a layer between my colors.
heaps of paint, probably about 10 times too much, but that's okay. So now I'm going to pick up my board because I've got Vaseline under there and I don't want to get the Vaseline anywhere near where I'm going to put paint or resin, otherwise it won't stick. So I'll try and, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'll just do a very quick flip. One, two, three, go. Oh, cool. Okay, so now I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes to allow the paint to come down from the top, mix through. You can already see some lovely cells forming here. Depends whether you like cells or not, whether you think they're lovely. My partner Steve, he doesn't really like the cells very much at all and can't understand why we do. Um, but most of us like the cells. Okay, give it a little tap. And then I'm just going to um, drag it one way. Whoops. Was going to. It's okay that it's gone where I haven't got the, um, the base paint. It's going to be fine. It'll just absorb more in those areas. So I'm just going to gently tilt this just to get it to cover where I want it to be. And I tend to um, put too much paint on and cover more than what I plan when I do these boards. But that's okay. And any that gets underneath um, where I don't want it, I can just sand that off anyway. Okay, so now I want to get it a nice edge. That's looking lovely. Look at all this coming through. It's very greeny, this one, because the person I'm making it for loves the um, mint colours. So now what I want to do is put a bit more of the um, Vallejo along the edge here. Might just... Blow that over there first. So this is just a paper straw that I flattened the end of, and I use this a lot when I'm blowing out. And that was just to get it to the edges where I want it to be. So I'm just going to now put this along the edge. And we'll do a bit more up here, just to create that sort of foam look. And now I'll just gently blow that out. Oops, wrong way. covered far more of the board than I originally intended. Okay, so now I'm going to blow it backwards as well. So I'll just turn this around. Now just gently blow it forward again. I'm just blowing through here just to get that bit of movement.
So it's basically a flip cup come Dutch pour insofar as me blowing it out. And I've just sort of blown these out just to get that look of where the waves come onto the beach. Okay, so now I'm just going to hit this with my heat embossing tool. It's just to burst any bubbles and bring up any more of these cells. And just make sure your edges are all covered. And to do that, you can just pick up the little bits off the bottom here and just gently finger pop anywhere where it's sort of missed. So that's good. I feel like I've got a pretty good coverage everywhere. Okay, now I'm very tempted just to run a skewer through there. Loving these cells coming up here, and this is what I'm finding with the Pouring Masters um, ready to pour acrylic pouring paints. Is you get these cells that look like when you put silicon into paint, but yet it doesn't reject the resin. So I really quite like that um, how that's happening. So I think I'm just I just want to I'll try a little bit down here and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that okay so I'm just going to do a couple of wrecking lines now to do a wrecking line you're just using this is just a little bamboo um, meat skewer and I'm just using the flat end of it and you just gently run it through the paint and it just creates these lovely patterns where it drags one color into the other you see here just it just looks lovely and this again creates that little bit more movement in the piece. So I'm just running it through like a wave. And just gives that little bit more movement. And I'll just try and do it up here where I've done the real blowout there too. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, well I don't think I'll do much more to that. I think you can overwork something. Um, so I'll leave it like that. I like those colours. And when I resin it, I will put um, some glitter into the resin. Just a very fine um, colour shift type one or maybe a greeny, greeny blue. Um, just to put a bit of sparkle in because I like my sparkle. And I will be using a resin that is both food safe and also um, heat resistant. I've been using the Stone Coat um, Countertops art resin which is heat resistant uh, up to at least 200 degrees centigrade which is about 392 fahrenheit i believe um, and it's also food safe but be aware if, when you add paint into resin that makes it no longer food safe so you really need to put another top of the resin a coat of the resin over the top of that again in this case i'm um, not putting paint into the resin just a little bit of glitter um so i would just be doing probably the one coat of resin but i may need to um depending on you know whether i've got a little bit speck of dust or some bubbles come through sometimes when you're putting resin on top of something that's very porous and it's got air bubbles in it it will um bring up a lot of bubbles into your resin and in which case you just sand it off um, and put another coat on not sand it off altogether just lightly sand the top of it um and then Put another coat of resin on to finish off so um, that's all you need to do okay so that's it for today guys hopefully you enjoyed that one and i'll try and remember to show you the finished result when i do um, another video in a few days time so i'll now bring you down for a close-up here we are coming down for the close-up very happy with the way these paints have blended together so that the pouring masters has blended so well with the araldo and the global plus the um, Vallejo Pearl Medium. So you can see it's created these cells, which I really like. And then I've got my foaming water at the edge there and where I've done my wrecking line through here. 
and also some more wrecking lines through there just to create that sort of wave look. And all in all, I think this is going to be a very pretty piece when it dries and once I've done my um, resin over the top of it. So there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one today, guys. Um, I've enjoyed doing that one for you. And I'll try and remember to show you the finished result once I've resined it in a few days' time. Okay, until I see you next, stay safe. Bye-bye.